Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're using an on Google TV box or a Thompson Google TV device, there's a very good chance you've already noticed this. The home screen is busy, it's slow, and it's packed with recommendations and ads that you didn't ask for. Now, don't get me wrong, Google TV works, but it doesn't always feel like your device. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a custom launcher on your On or Thompson box so you can completely change how the home screen looks and behaves. We're talking no ads, faster navigation, apps only, and a much cleaner experience. Let's jump in. Out of the box, Google TV is designed to push content first, not apps. So instead of showing you what you installed, it shows trending movies, sponsored rows, recommendations from apps you don't even use, and over time that can actually slow the device down, especially on budget hardware like the OnBox. A custom launcher flips that around. It puts apps first, removes distractions, and makes your device feel closer to classic Android TV, which honestly, a lot of people still prefer. The launcher we're using is called Project Ivy Launcher. I've tested a lot of launchers over the years, and this one works properly on Google TV, doesn't break updates, doesn't require shady permissions, and doesn't feel half finished. It also works perfectly on both on and Thompson boxes. First things first, open the Google Play Store on your device. Search for Project Ivy and install it. There is a paid version, but don't worry, everything we're doing today works completely fine with the free version. Once it's installed, go ahead and open the app. When you open Project Ivy for the first time, you'll see a few prompts. Now this is completely normal. It will ask you to grant basic permissions, allow it to run as a launcher, so just follow the on-screen steps. Now when you reach the grant notification access prompt under special permissions, you'll notice something important. You can't actually enable this setting at this moment. You won't be able to select it with your remote, and that's because Google TV doesn't allow it during the initial setup. So we'll come back and fix that in the next step. For now, continue through the prompts. Once that's done, you'll immediately notice the difference. Instead of ads and content rows, you'll see a clean grid of your apps, no recommendations, no clutter. At this point, the launcher is installed, but it's not fully locked in yet. And this next step is important. Google TV really wants you to use its default launcher. So if you skip this next part, it may revert back to the original home screen, especially after a restart or when pressing the home button. Here's how to prevent that. First, press the home button on your remote. Now this will currently take you back to the Google TV home screen. Go to settings, select accessibility, choose Project IV Launcher, and toggle enable to on. Next, go back to settings, and this time select apps, special app access, notification access, and toggle Project Ivy Launcher on. This is the important permission we couldn't enable earlier during the initial setup. Now Google TV has given Project Ivy the correct permissions to act as a launcher. We just now need to tell Project Ivy to use them. 
open the Project IV Launcher app and go to Settings, Project IV Launcher Settings, General, then toggle on Override Current Launcher. Now open any app, then press the home button on your remote. If everything is set up correctly, Project IV loads instantly when pressing the home button instead of the Google TV home screen. That's exactly what we want. Now let's make it feel personal, customized to your own preferences. Inside Project IV settings, you can reorder your apps, hide apps you never use, adjust icon size, enable or disable labels, change the wallpaper, choose a minimal or more detailed layout. Now my recommendation is to keep it simple. Put the apps you use most at the top and hide everything else. Less clutter means faster navigation and a smoother experience overall, especially on the OnBox. By default, all of your apps are placed into a single row at the top, but you can create a favorites row that stays right at the very top for instant access. Here's how to do it. Highlight any app, press and hold the select button on your remote, choose add to, select favorites. That app now appears in the top row. Repeat this for the apps you use most and you'll never need to scroll through your full app list again. If there are apps you never use, especially system apps you can't uninstall like Google Games, you can hide them. Just highlight the app, press and hold select and choose hide. This keeps your launcher clean without removing anything from the system. If you do want to see recommendations from the apps you actually use, you can control that too. Go to Settings, Edit Channels, and from here you can toggle recommendations on or off for each individual app that supports it. By default, the recommendations row appears at the bottom of the screen underneath the settings rows. If you want to move it, scroll down to the recommendations row, press left until you reach reorder, select it, then move the row up or down to wherever you want it. If you don't need certain rows like display settings or about, you can hide these as well. For each row, press left to go to the settings icon, toggle visible to off, that one's a simple one. You can also change the wallpaper, although there are some limits in the free version of Project Ivy. For custom wallpapers, you'll need the premium version. Now, if you plan to use Project IV long-term, the upgrade costs $5.99, and for some people, it's worth it. With the free version, you can still switch to clean, dynamic colors. Go to Settings, Project IV Launcher Settings, Appearance, Wallpaper, Launcher Wallpaper, then from here, select dynamic colors. So as you can see, Project IV gives you a lot of control. You can fine tune almost everything from icon size and shape to adding new rows to organize your content. And you can build a home screen that actually works the way you want it to. Quick tip while we're here, if you stream a lot, especially Netflix, Prime Video or IPTV apps, your experience can heavily depend on location and network routing. I personally use NordVPN on my On and Thompson boxes. I use it to improve streaming stability 
access different content libraries and avoid throttling on certain apps. It runs great on Google TV and you'll find my NordVPN link in the description which supports the channel and gets you a discount. After you've spent a bit of time adjusting the launcher and setting it up exactly how you like it, the On and Thompson boxes genuinely feel like completely different devices. No ads, no recommendations from apps you never use, just your content the way you want it. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more streaming tips, device tweaks and Google TV tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.